brought in some smart people I know to break the financial crisis down. Winfrey's show began airing on the Arab satellite channel NBC4 more than four years ago. At least six million viewers in the Arab world tune in every day. Mazen Hayek is the marketing director for NBC4. He says the channel saw the Oprah Winfrey show as a way to reach an untapped market of female television fans. Oprah is looked at as a role model and in a region where uh, females are in need of role models, where role models are scarce in presence. Suzanne al Qadi agrees. She's a longtime fan of Oprah, who lives in a small suburb outside Amman, the Jordanian capital. The show may be aimed at an American audience, she says, but in reaching viewers here, it put what had been taboo topics straight into Arab living rooms for the first time. There are some subjects that Oprah discusses that as Arab society we might not discuss, things that would be a red line such as marital relations, drugs, rape and domestic violence. These topics are now discussed and acknowledged in society, and Suzanne says that because so many Arab women are watching, Oprah is a major factor in that shift. Suzanne is not only a fan, but has been inspired by Oprah. Three mornings a week, she attends a local university where she's studying childhood development. Oprah does interviews on topics related to childhood development that reinforce what I'm studying. Even before I went to college, I got a lot out of this because of my children. I like how Oprah asks some questions about things we're not used to talking about, whether out of fear or embarrassment. We brought together four professional Jordanian women to discuss the Oprah effect. As a single professional woman with a boyfriend and no children, Oprah isn't the norm in the Arab world. But these women say her humanity resonates more than the lifestyle differences. Hanin Abu Rub is an editor for an Arabic website. When she brought up the episode when Oprah contributor, the home decorator Nate Burkus, lost his gay partner in the 2004 tsunami, the conversation took an unexpected turn. I was touched when she brought the story about Nate's boyfriend who died. He was a photographer or something. I cried because he made me cry. Although this is very strange from our society and everything. I was, I cried, I did. She moved me. The way he showed the places, the things, they went together and all of that. For administrative assistant Roshan al Kurdi, publicly discussing homosexuality was just too much. It's not a topic to be talked about in a talk show like Oprah. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not a topic. Topic. It's not Oprah's uh, fault that you saw it on TV. Yeah. It's NBC4 fault. This episode is directed to the American society where homosexuality is a normal thing. People are getting no, license even, to get even, married. Even, even there. People it's are getting license thing. there to get married. Come on. Just a few years ago, such discussions wouldn't have been possible. Arab airwaves were dominated by state-owned television airing pro-government propaganda and bland programming. With hundreds of satellite channels now available, Arabs have a new window to the West. Today, satellite dishes are all over rooftops, not just in Jordan, but the entire Arab world. Arab satellite channels may have made government television irrelevant, but years of censorship and political repression mean that access to new information is something people here are still getting used to. Mazen Hayek of NBC4, the channel that broadcasts The Oprah Winfrey Show and other American programs in the Arab world, says that television viewers can no longer be put back into a censored box. We believe that TV, entertainment, gaming, software, job creation, hope would obviously help this part of the world grow, uh, get prosper, see less less hatred, less extremism, less, uh, less indoctrination, less ability to, uh, to take uh, uh, the viewers or people in the wrong direction. What all four of the Jordanian women agreed on is that while Arabs are watching Oprah and learning about American society, it's time for Oprah to learn more about the Arab world. We in, uh, yes. we in the Middle East, we are watching Oprah. She has to open their minds about the Arabs because I think they have um, a wrong image about, about us and they stereotype us. Yes. Right. She has to open, open that narrow window through her show. It may be an American program, but the Arab world is watching. These women say they'd like to see Arabs on the Oprah Winfrey show, not as terrorists, but as regular human beings with hopes, dreams, and struggles 
just like anyone else. I'm Kristen Gillespie for World Focus, reporting from Amman, Jordan.